Hi everybody. In previous videos, I've showed you how you can check your Asus router CPU and Wi-Fi chips temperature. I've done that using the interface, uh, the GUI interface, if you've got the Merlin firmware installed, as you can see here. And I've also done that using uh, an SSH uh, interface, as you can see here. But I've had quite a few messages from people saying they don't know how to use SSH and they haven't got Merlin firmware, they're using stock how can they still check their temperatures? Well, um, you can actually do that. There's no setting in the uh, web GUI on the stock ASUS uh, uh, firmware, but there is a trick to do it, and I wanna show you how to do that. So the first thing you wanna do is just open a browser. I'm just opening Chrome. Uh, once you've got that open, uh, you're going to want to take this URL. So this URL will return all the temperatures that we want to see. All you need to do is to know the IP address of your router. Mine's 192.168.1.1. So just copy that. I'll leave this uh, link in the description of the video and then just enter that into the browser. Now, if you get this page, it means you need to log into your router first and then do that again. So let's go ahead and log in. So once you've logged in, just open up another tab and then re-enter the address that uh, we just did before and press enter. Now it doesn't look tidy um, like the Merlin firmware does, but it's got everything you need to know in here. So we can see at the end here, the core CPU temperature is 69 degrees. And then up here, you can see uh, the 2.4 uh, gig um, temperature. And over here, you can see the five gig uh, Wi-Fi chip temperature. So it's all there, it doesn't look pretty, but this means it's nice and simple. You can get your temperatures even if you've got the stock Asus firmware. I hope you found that helpful. If you do, please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everybody.